We've got the Reds and Giants in this game, and the Reds are trying to get back on track after they've been cooled off as of late. They're facing all-star for the Giants, Alex Cobb, but Luke Maley is going to deposit a two-run homer to start this game, and those two runs would be really all they needed because Andrew Abbott was brilliant today. Eight innings of shutout ball. The Giants only scored one run in the game, and part of that was because of this relay right here. It gets over Will Benson's head by Luis Matos. He throws it to Ellie De La Cruz, and De La Cruz does the rest. He just continues to break his own records. A couple days ago, he set a record for the fastest infield assist ever recorded by StatCast, and now he broke that by a couple miles per hour. That was clocked in at 99.8 miles per hour on the throw. Just a laser to cut off a big run at home in a 2-0 game. You can round that up to 100 miles per hour. Either way, no matter how you do it, it's the fastest recorded infield assist by his track by StatCast, which is going back to 2015. So it's probably the fastest of all time time because Ellie De La Cruz is just an arm that we haven't seen in a long time and he broke his own record from just a couple days ago earlier this week maybe even earlier this series for the next story we're going to be talking about the Mariners as Jared Kelenic took this curveball for a strike three for the first out to kind of stop a ninth inning rally for the Mariners and he was very frustrated about it it was a nine pitch battle but after the at bat he kicked a water cooler and ended up fracturing his foot and this is tough it's tough not to feel bad for Jared Kelenic Kelenic right now because obviously he wasn't trying to injure himself and let his teammates down as he said in an emotional interview speaking to reporters today he had to have a few minutes to gather what he was going to say because he was just really crushed and heartbroken by this news but it's just tough because the only reason he kicked the water cooler is because of how badly he wanted to win he's a big competitor he's been having a big year he's placed on the 10 day IL obviously he'll be out for more than 10 days the timetable is yet to be seen but this is a tough time for a Mariners team that with their starting rotation if they could get guys like Jared Kelenic going in that lineup they could really feel like they can make a run with the trade deadline upcoming so we'll see if the Mariners make any moves to counteract that at the trade deadline but regardless a big blow for Jared Kelenic and the Mariners.